a truck stopped at the road watching me irrigate. I don't know exactly why. There's nothing exciting about this. This is probably the most boring job ever. Oh, I bet I know why. <laughs> that is probably why he's staring over here. Dang it, didn't think about that one. Hey, bud. Oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing right there. Trixie, I don't want to love you, Trixie. You're not part of the cuteness. Trixie, you're not part of the cuteness, Trixie. Trixie, you're not part of the cuteness. Trixie, you're adorable. <laughs> Why is it a little off to get like, Daddy, help. Help me, Dada. She's trying to take me Let away. Let out a big sigh. <laughs> Just All right, my friends, this over here is where we're gonna set the pump. And I'm gonna run the line all the way out across through there. I wanna show you what I got. And I don't know if these will work with any kind of connection to the big uh, pump. I'll have to look around and find something. But I will say that with a water hose, uh, a regular water hose does not provide enough pressure to get these to work. These are some big industrial size sprinklers and I have four of them, but uh, I did connect them to a water hose, uh, a five eighths and a half inch water hose and neither water hose to get them to spin. So I do believe it's gonna require a whole lot more pressure we are going to look around at the supply and see if I can find an adapter that will adapt down from a two inch hose down to a five eighths to get this to work. And if it will, then I will tee off. I will just tee off of the, of the pump and put out sprinklers across there, which would be awesome. These are pretty neat. They kind of hammer into the ground so they won't fall over. And then you can turn them off and on. Each one of them has a has their very own turn off and on valve. So I can turn on which ones I want and turn off the ones I don't. So <sighs> we're working. And uh, I got all the hose set up. The pump is ready. It's full of gas. My friends, all I'm waiting for right now is for it to cool off a little bit. It's midday. I've come out to water everybody down and clean up the water and all that we do during our midday chores. Hey, get out of there. Get, sweetie, that's trash. Move along. And then I will uh, start the irrigating this afternoon. Today's Monday. And I'm excited about this. I want you to come along with me and be a part of this journey. Let this right here serve as a before and after photo. This is the before photo. I'll take a picture. I'll take a still shot picture. There's a screenshot maybe. And we'll look at it now compared to a, a week from now. Next Monday will be Labor Day, the day of our boat races. And we'll just see if we can make any difference in a week's time. Just going to see. Well, my friends, the time has come. Raise the roof and have some fun. Oh, Throw away the work to be done. Everybody play on, play on, play on, play on. Everybody sings and everybody dance. Lose yourself in wild romance. We're gonna turn on the pump. Pretend like I'm a fireman, yeah. We're gonna spray the field. We're gonna, okay, that makes no sense at all. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, my goal is to spray everything from the front of the barn all across this entire hill to where it begins to drop off over the edge though there, going down the uh, 
going down that side. And uh, I'm gonna do that every day. Once a day, I'm gonna douse it, y'all. I'm just gonna douse it down every day for an entire, well, for five days. And just see what happens. It's late afternoon. And so now's the best time to get started. I got plenty of time to do this and still get my chores out of the way before dark. Are y'all nervous for me? I need two hands again, dang it. All right. Uh, where's my water pressure at? Where's my pressure? Come on now, we don't need these kind of issues. Come on, where's my pressure? Guys, I am with no pressure. I have no pressure here. Unless tomorrow, I can't drag a hose full of water across this hill. I'm gonna need some pressure here, Lester. Lord, don't do this to me. Lord, don't do this to me. <sighs> Y'all give me a second. Let me go figure out why I have no water. All right, I got water. I have water. And uh, I am just going to walk across this hill, spraying, dousing down every square inch. And I will do it day after day after day after day. And we're gonna put water back on this hill. I don't have an irrigation system set up where it can do like an automatic sprinkler system. I'll try to figure that out. But as of today, I have nothing except for just, we're using, we're using muscle, y'all. We're just using muscle. We're using muscle and we're fine with this. And remember, I'm gonna spray where there's already existing grass. It's just dry grass. I do believe we can get this grass to come back. And that's what our plan is. So what you see me doing right over here, I'm gonna inch my way back and do the same thing all the way across this hill. That's what my plan is. I do believe it will work. But you don't wanna watch this. <laughs> no, you do not wanna watch this. I see a rainbow. All right, so Waylon has come up with some legit concerns. He's like, he's voicing his opinion and I'm not sure what to say. He's like, Dad, I don't see how any bull can survive, much less prosper here at uh, Longhorn Lester without proper vegetation. And I'm like, uh, Waylon, I'm trying. And if that's not bad enough, here comes Santoro to back him up. And now Texas is like, is there any grass yet? Is there any grass yet? We are hungry. Waylon, I'm trying, okay? Tex, I'm trying. I'm working here. Let me cool you off. Let me cool you off. You like that? He's like, is there grass yet? That's all I wanna know, is there grass yet? I'm like, no. Give me a week, okay, buddy? Give me a week.
Why are you staring at me? Why are you just staring at me far? I'm working. Daddy's working, buddy. Santoro is getting his first lesson on how to become a real bull. Tex has pretty much given him all the instructions on how to do it. Now Santoro is just going to step up and show Tex what he can do. And Santoro instead is going to... Man, he's just kind of not really the fighting mood today. And Tex doesn't know how to think about that. No, nope, Tex has no idea how to feel about that. All right, it may be hard to tell now, but uh, all of that side is watered. And so this was just day number one. I can't wait to see what happens over the course of the week. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.